Demario is not just an ordinary jaguar. She's a miraculous survivor discovered in the Ecuadorian forest. She was found in a severely injured and almost lifeless state. Fortunately, veterinarians found her in time and played a crucial role in her recovery. Diaria had been shot multiple times, a shocking and heart-wrenching ordeal that she endured. This 11-month-old jaguar was located in Ecuador, lying paralyzed on the ground, with only the ability to move her head and neck. The question arose, why was this mere baby jaguar subjected to such violence? The area where Diaria was discovered was inhabited by people with farms. Those who found her believed that the baby jaguar shouldn't have been alone. According to one of the veterinarians, Maria Cristina Selly from Darwin Animal Doctors, it was likely that Diaria's mother was with her but had been shot and killed. The baby jaguar may have fled the scene until she could no longer move. Diaria's life was hanging in the balance, having been shot multiple times. Selly emphasized that if she had not been found and treated, she would not have survived. On her own, the young jaguar wouldn't have stood a chance. She was paralyzed, unable to drink water, hunt, or find food for herself. This is where the team of veterinarians stepped in to rescue the baby kitten. Brought to an animal hospital in Ecuador's capital, Universidad San Francisco de Quito, by locals, the jaguar had one opportunity to recover, despite a challenging five-hour journey in a truck. Dr. Andres Ortega led a team of veterinarians and performed surgeries to save the jaguar's life. Initially, he had doubts about whether the kitten would survive the surgeries, considering the severity of her injuries. The unfortunate jaguar had endured 18 gunshot wounds, with damage to her spinal vertebrae, particularly in the neck area. The surgeries not only involved removing the bullets, but also repairing the damage to the affected vertebrae. The veterinary team provided post-surgery care, and to their astonishment, Diaria began to show gradual movement in her legs. Over time, she would grow stronger and heal. Sally described the kitten's first steps, saying, she stood up and started displaying signs of restlessness. And that's when everyone realized she was going to make it. Despite the initially grim x-rays, the kitten displayed incredible resilience and determination. Jaguars like Diaria are listed as threatened species on the IUCN Red List. Her survival is a promising development, as it means she can contribute to the population of jaguars in the Ecuadorian forest, provided she avoids encounters with farmers. As Diaria continued to recover, her injuries began to heal, but she had to remain in a small cage at the animal hospital during this time. Despite her confinement, the staff made every effort to keep her content, as you can see in the following photos. The veterinary team did an exceptional job, and just a month after the surgical intervention, Ioria was transferred to a larger outdoor space in the nature park, Lago Agrio, Ecuador. Her recovery progress had reached 95%, and according to Selly, Diaria was running like it's the last day of her life. The veterinary team believed she could eventually be released into the wild to live alongside other jaguars. In preparation for a successful release, the veterinarians minimized contact with Diaria so she wouldn't become accustomed to humans. This strategy aimed to prevent her from associating humans with benefits, ensuring she would stay away from them in the wild. During her time in the hospital, Diaria exhibited a growling response to humans, as Sully recounted. Diaria's name, meaning brave tiger, was truly fitting, considering her remarkable recovery. She received specialized post-intervention treatments to facilitate her full rehabilitation, and her joyful appearance now speaks volumes. In her jungle enclosure, Diaria displayed a fierce and protective demeanor, lunging at anyone who approached her cage. The staff provided her with items for play during her recovery period, offering some amusement. However, one can only imagine her joy when she returns to the wild, free to run and play as she pleases. Sally expressed the excitement of all involved in witnessing Dioria grow into a full-grown jaguar and potentially become a mother to little jaguars. Dioria is scheduled to be released at the Tiputini Biodiversity Station where she will wear a radio collar for her safety and monitoring.